Hey, Todd Atlas with SoundPure Recording Studios and Pro Audio Sales. Today we're going to do something a little different than we normally do. Um, we don't sell vintage equipment. We get it in on occasion for customers that request it um, because most of the time we've got newer, more reliable, brand new pieces of gear that we prefer to use. Um, one example of those is the Vintec X73i, which is one of our absolute favorite preamps for a variety of things. It basically is a Neve 1073 clone. Dallas at Vintec has done piles of shootouts all over the world um, comparing original 1073s to Vintec X73Is. The reason we have these 1073s is because a high profile artist's producer requested that we get these specifically for a recording session that we just did last night. Um, you might wonder why we have two. We were only doing vocals. The reason we have two is because they, the rental house actually said that they're a little bit unreliable and if you want to be sure you have one that's working you better get two. So <laughs> there you have it. One of the main reasons why we sell new gear is because they can be very, very unreliable and unpredictable and behave a little bit erratically. But while we have them, we thought it'd be a really wonderful opportunity to precisely compare the preamps of the 1073 and the X73i, which according to all of Dallas's tests, prove that they're pretty much identical. So we're gonna see if we can get the same result or if we're gonna hear some differences. One thing's for sure, anything of this age could have its own idiosyncrasies. They've said, that the difference between an old 1073 to another old 1073 is no wider than the difference between a 1073 and a Vintec X73i's preamp. So we'll give it a listen. For this test, we've set the preamp gains to 50 on both units and then dial the output trims to be exact. The way we've tested that is to make sure they perfectly phase cancel each other when we reverse phase and sum the two together. A little bit technical, but the point is that we've actually been able to exactly phase cancel two units, which is a pretty good indication that they're gonna perform identically when we go to take a listen. Let's get in the recording studio. We'll talk about the setup in there. We're gonna record it, and then we're gonna come back and compare the two tracks. Today on the piano, I've got a pair of Peluso P12 microphones. These are basically stylized like exact replicas of the vintage AKG C12, which historically is a great pairing with the 1073. While today isn't about making piano recordings, nor about pairing C12s with 1073s, I figure that the P12s and the 1073 are a nice complementary pair and a great starting point for the recordings we're gonna be listening to um, through the two different preamps we're testing today. So over here are the power supplies for the P12s. The P12s are tube microphones, so they require their own dedicated power supply. But rather than worry about phantom power, and because we love the way the P12s and the 1073 combination sounds together, we thought these would be nice microphones to use. Out of the power supply, you've got a single XLR cable that would typically go into one channel of your wall box or one channel of your preamp. But for the purposes of feeding two preamps simultaneously, the Vintec is in one and two, and the original vintage Neve 1073 is in channels three and four. By using these splitters, we've been able to duplicate the identical signal into both preamps. While there is a small effect on impedance, the signals going to the two preamps are absolutely identical. For this test, we've chosen to record an acoustic piano. The reason being is it's super rich in harmonic information, tons of overtones, lots of top end, um, and it has the largest range of any instrument. So whether you're recording voice, drums, um, any other instrument at all, piano is a really, really great instrument to test the differences between two preamps in terms of the way they're translating information. So I think it's a perfect choice for this experiment. So when I go back in the studio, you guys will be listening to the original vintage Neve 1073 modules coming out of the piano. So while I'm playing, that's what you guys will be hearing. After I complete the playing, we'll come back in the studio and we'll play for you guys the Vintec X73i outputs. I'm going to play just a couple arpeggio passages, something that covers the entire range of the instrument, because I think that will display the biggest differences between them if there are any.
So once again, you guys just heard the original vintage 1073 output from the mics that were recording the piano. Now we're going to play back the recording made at the exact same time off of the Vintec X73Is. While we do that, you guys will hear the X73I output while our engineers A-B compare the two so that they have a few thoughts that they'll share with you after making the comparison. If you guys want to hear the original high resolution WAV files, just give us an email or give us a call. We'd love to send them to you and talk more about our experiences here. So I guess I set up the the production and when it when it completely 100% phase canceled when I reversed the polarity on one of them I kind of knew it was going to be more or less a foregone conclusion that the similarity was going to be pretty extreme but I mean that being said I mean what what are y'all's impressions Well I was expecting differences to be yeah. honest with you because of yes yeah. you know Dallas is doing some good stuff I mean, he really is to me. Yeah. Dallas had told us about doing tests like this blind, up going yeah. to studios in Nashville, studios in New York, where he'd bring you know multiple of his Vintec units, he'd rent multiple 1073s, and, and they'd set up these tests, and we always heard about these, and we said, well, I mean, I'm sure it's close. Well, but, Dallas has actually done the test for me before, so. Uh, you know, I hadn't done that yet, so yeah, it, a, it was, you know, for us to do it here, it, it really kind of eye-opening. I was expecting it to be close, but not that close, not yeah. to where, I, I think my mind was playing tricks on me. So I, I kept thinking I was hearing something, and I'd switch back. We'd switch it a couple times, get confused into which was where, and, and I couldn't tell you which was which. Yeah, I thought I was, I was pretty amazed, I'll say. I mean, uh, the, well, we did test the two Neves when we first got them, and they, there was a difference in like on the you know, output side. We didn't do kind of a tonal test, but they were already you know, there was something that was a little different between the two, but, um, you know, to me, it, it it had that exactly what you wanted, you know, on the Vintec. You had that just kind of warmth and just kind of coloration that you expect from a, from a Neve 1073. You know, the, the, the saying is, those Vintec X73s are so close to original 1073s that those old 1073s are as different from one another as any X73 would. I mean, you could put them in the mix with a bunch of originals, and they'd be so similar that you couldn't tell which one was not vintage. I mean, they, they are right on the money, and I, I think it's true. I think, I think the experiment kind of proved true. I would, I would have been curious to record something through both of the Neves to see how different just the Neves were between each other versus just the, the Neve and the Vintec. That would have probably been a great test. You probably would have, <laughs> maybe you would have heard wider differences. I don't know. Our impressions of these Vintec X33Is are exactly what we hoped they would be. Um, and the ability to be able to buy four of them or more for the price that one original Neve 1073 is going for is a really great sign. Between the cost effectiveness, the reliability, and frankly, the ability for them to just nail the sound, um, these Vintecs are pretty impossibly difficult to argue with. If you want to hear the original WAV files, we'll be glad to send them to you. Otherwise, if you have any other questions about the Vintec X73Is or any of the other Neve clones or vintage clone gear that we sell, we'll be glad to talk to you about it. Just give us a call at SoundPure. We're here to help.